Hey, Brian, how's it going? Oh, hey. How are you doing, Siraj? Pretty good. Do you mind if I ask you 67 questions? Sure. All right, let's do this. So what's life like at NVIDIA? Well, I think NVIDIA is a speed of light company, so we're always trying to figure out what the boundaries are and push as close as we can to them. What's the application of deep learning you're currently the most excited about? I'm most excited about graphics for deep learning. Uh, like, obviously, NVIDIA cares a lot about graphics and cares a lot about AI, and there's some opportunities to really change the way we create and render graphics with deep learning. You got your PhD from Berkeley. Do you need, do you need a PhD to learn deep learning? No, you don't. Uh, some of my favorite researchers don't have PhDs. It's totally fine. Favorite part of the software stack? Um, I love compilers. Compilers are pretty awesome. You spent two years in Russia and learned Russian. Uh, I tell, did. Me a tell me a phrase in Russian. Я вас любил. Любовь еще будет может душе моей угасла не совсем. Describe CUDA in one sentence. CUDA is SIMD parallel programming done right. What's one thing you wish people knew more about CUDA? Um, I wish that people knew that with Volta, our newest GPUs, it's a lot more like parallel programming on a CPU and all the threads can work independently. So Brian, what do you do to relax? Uh, I like to bake. What comes after GPUs in terms of AI processing hardware? GPUs are the best processors for AI. If you could spend an evening with one famous person, who would it be? Uh, I have to go with President Obama. You invented a language called Copperhead. Was that as difficult as it sounds? It was a lot of work. Um, it's, it's interesting, a lot of the ideas behind Copperhead are now pretty common in frameworks like PyTorch or Gluon. Last thing you made with your hands? A loaf of raisin pecan bread. What's the next problem you want to solve? Uh, I'm really focused on reinventing graphics with AI. What advice would you give yourself 10 years ago? I would say more deep learning. What website do you waste time on? Uh, I love uh, the Beyond 3D forums and YouTube. Last person you email? My boss, Jonah Alden. You get an all expenses paid trip to one city. Where do you go? I'd like to go back to Yekaterinburg in the middle of the Ural region in Russia. Would you visit Mars? Of course, who wouldn't? What is one thing you can't live without? Um, my computer. Favorite research paper of 2018? Have to say it was the Glow paper from OpenAI. What text editor do you use? Emacs. What open source library do you really like? PyTorch. What's one of your favorite movies? Uh, Arrival. What is something you do to come up with project ideas? I do a lot of brainstorming in Google Docs, and no idea is too stupid to put down. You worked for Baidu for two years. How was that experience? Baidu was great. Uh, it was very fast paced and lots of wonderful technologies being created there. Uh, so I, I had a wonderful experience there. I did kind of run into the limits of what I could do since I was remote working in America. And so I'm glad to be working back at NVIDIA. Will China dominate AI in the next decade? Uh, I think they've got a lot of people working really hard and they're doing amazing things. What was the first program you ever made? First program I ever made was on our old Timex Sinclair 1000, and I was making little plots. What's a music genre you're currently into? Uh, I'm super obsessed with modern choral music. Arvo Pert is like my favorite. Is there a programming language you really don't like? JavaScript. Programming language of choice for machine learning? Python. Favorite professor? Andrew Ng. What is one area of AI that interests you a lot? Um, right now, I guess I'd have to say language modeling. Super interesting. What is a misconception people have about technology in general? That it is built out of breakthroughs one after another. Actually, a lot of technology comes step by step. Name one person you really admire. Um, one person I really admire. Uh, Dave Patterson. Okay. Who's that? Dave Patterson, the inventor of Risk. What is the most beautiful thing in the world? A redwood tree. What do you want to work on the most? 
um, I'm most excited about unsupervised learning. What are the people you've met at technology conferences like? Uh, they're normal people, maybe a little bit more focused. Uh, generally fun to have technical conversations with. Describe an ideal culture in one word. Self-aware. Best advice you've ever received? Um, be honest with yourself. Do you think you need a PhD to do deep learning? No, I don't. Will the singularity happen? I don't think it will, not in the way that we're worried about. What is one area of AI that doesn't get enough love? Systems. What is one of the most surprising things you've ever learned from your studies in deep learning? That deep learning models can actually generalize. It's very surprising and people take it for granted, but like, why? Why should that be true? What is the meaning of life? 42. What was the last thing that frustrated you? I don't have enough GPUs for my research. What's your spirit animal? A snake. If you had a time machine, when would you visit? Uh, I think I'd go with 1969. Favorite Linux distro? Ubuntu. What's the best cryptocurrency to invest in? I don't believe in cryptocurrency investment. Where would you like to see yourself in the next five years? I'd really like to see some of the inventions from our lab making a difference to NVIDIA. Do you think molecular computing will become a reality? Yes, and I think we're on the way there already. If you ran the world, what is one law you'd enact? Um, I would push for advanced nuclear power to reduce our carbon emissions. What's a problem you would love to see solved? Global warming. What is a risk that comes from deep learning? Economic disparity. Who is one person you looked up to when you were in college? Um, when I was in college, uh, I don't know, it's too hard a question. What were you like as a kid in grade school? I was pretty ambitious and pretty extroverted. I really liked to go up to people and tell them why I was really, really smart. That's kind of annoying. What resource do you use the most to learn about the latest breakthroughs? Twitter. What's something that excites you about the future? That almost all of the people who have ever worked on AI are working on it right now. If you were to start from scratch today, what is one learning resource you would use to learn deep learning? Fast.ai. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to answer those questions, Brian. Great. It was fun. All right. Have a good one. All right. Bye.